How many people are you going to bring in to back you up? While I won't mention a single fucking name. And you want to bring up my kids? You want to say that I got a DUI with my fucking kids in the car? Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. You German, dirty, rotten whore. You make German people look bad. Steph, she has nothing. She has nothing. She has no she truth. She really has nothing. She's grasping at straws. Yes, that's true. She- Hold on, wait. I'm sorry. Wait. Oop, you stay. You go. You go. You go. Fox, I love you. Okay. Lorelai. Yeah. All right, what's up? Just remember, before people throw a fit, Diane and Wendy were investigating a crime that they felt like were committed. During that investigation, the full name and location and charges and even jail video was brought up against Molly Golightly. They used her full name. They showed the arrest report. They showed the arrest video. They showed the full location, even the location of the crime that Molly was it, Molly was not convicted of. So this is in August of 2017. This is all that we have on Miss Loggins. And remember, if it was okay for Diane and Wendy to use Marissa's first and last name and the location, then it's okay here. Wendy says, sometimes I like people that do bad things, but this is just the pending part of it. So now that we have the date of August of 2017, on August 13 exactly, and the location, maybe the full police report can be drawn up. And if there's officer video cam, we can have that brought up. If anyone has the wherewithal to do that and again I just want to reiterate Diane and Wendy and others use Marissa's real name when they discuss the alleged crime at Rick's in New Orleans where Molly was accused of but not convicted of stealing from a stripper. So before you shout doxing, go shout at the devils. <laughs> 